uh, oh, the letters Rick I want to ask him about. Mm -hmm. These two letters came um, since we met the last time, and they focus on public health um, and public safety. So I'm going to read them both. They're both short letters. Um, one of them is, I believe, Chris's uh, answer or opinion. Dear Mr. Welch, I'm passing along some photos of Gurney's Beach Bar that I'm hoping you can forward to the appropriate department heads to find a solution to the garbage situation. Thank you. This is what a typical weekend morning looks like at Gurney's. The owner and operator has created a fantastic venue, but it has some come at a substantial price to the neighborhood on L Street. Furthermore, unless some very smart people get involved, this problem will not likely have a solution as the building takes up 100% of the lot. There is no room to put all these barrels <coughs> where they are out of the public right of ways. <coughs> you must admit it was not the original intent of the town to pick up such a large amount of trash in individual totes. This is clearly is something a dumpster should be handling. Their issue is destruction of public property, the concrete is covered in kitchen slum, walkway not ADA accessible, feeding ground for rodents, it smells and the totes are covered in kitchen slum. As of this year, L Street is finally free of its heroin house, now we have to contend with this. At the very least, they should be required to bag everything, clean the barrels, clean the sidewalk, get a screen door going into the kitchen from the sidewalk, or are they going to get rodents walking in? Then, the next letter is, <coughs> Fred, when I first visited Bernie's last summer, the decision was made to limit him to 27 containers of both types. In the photos, I count 16 to 17 containers. Per the planning board approval, he was to keep the containers beside the back of the structure. Later, last summer, due to a concern raised by Nabutter, we met on site fire codes and PW and we agreed that he could keep the containers below the structure. Al stated that his staff would move them in and out prior to and after unloading. It ha I had doubts at the time if it would really work occur because it is labor intensive and someone would actually have to care to do the job on a timely basis and thoroughly. I see this as a situation I see this situation as a building inspector code enforcement issue. I also believe that this should be tied to the entertainment license that is issued seasonally to the operation. And you know, it's uh, very clear from pictures that we have here that have been submitted that um, the sidewalk is not accessible to wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. And it's not accessible to wheelchairs as of 5 to 6 this evening because I was down there. And the trash has been picked up and it's very clear and there's at least, I don't know, probably about 20 barrels all lined up. And I know that it wasn't in the intention. I've worked, we've worked on trash here all the time, of all these years. And it's never been in the attention that the people should be able to leave their trash cans out and not put them back out of sight. Now, I have uh, checked this out since I looked at the first man's letter. I went down there every morning this week. And I've checked it when the trash picks it up. <clears throat> and uh, not only did I check this establishment, I checked every other establishment in Hampton. And um, on after Friday night or Saturday morning, um, and I think that the, the areas, the building, the ones that I checked are like the big five, Bernie's, the Sea Catch, the Boardwalk, um, and Wally's, uh, and basically there's some others. Um, it's kind of interesting to look because there really are those, those are the four big ones. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, there aren't other people, and I checked them also today before I came to this meeting. No one else leaves the bill, the, uh, all of the other barrels are all out of sight. Mm -hmm. So they've removed them, they've put them somewhere. Um, 
I'd like to know why you're allowing these barrels to sit there, or what, what do we have to do to make sure they don't sit there? I mean, the biggest problem I have, which anyone can see, is this trash. This trash is this way right at this minute, right. is like this. Not only that, furthermore, when I went down today, the goat, um, there are t almost 20 barrels there that are just sitting there, and um, they're not in any way uh, removed from the sight line. Now, this is a tourist area. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, uh, has the planning board just allowed these barrels are supposed to just stay there within eyesight of everything all the time? Or are they supposed to put their barrels somewhere where they're not supposed to be seen? I mean, that's a unique situation because there's no, like, back of the building because the back of the building's on Ashworth Avenue. Yeah. The front of the building's on another street. But, you know, we get caught. We've changed the law here for the regular citizens of Hampton this year uh, and made it so that we lift the restrictions because walls, uh, fences had to be three feet before and we changed it to four feet so other people that live in homes could make it so that their barrels are not visible. Mm -hmm. Now how are we allowing this to be this way? When you, when we are appointed as one of the best uh, boardwalks or the best boardwalk that's in the United States I guess, um, when you're walking down that boardwalk you see this area. Mm -hmm. And if that door was open, I would definitely see it's a problem. Also, this is this way at Bernie's today, too, when I just came. It's all of the boxes are all probably in the process of being broken down. But how, does, how do we get some relief for the people that live around? It, it's just not, uh, it's not acceptable mm -hmm. that these neighbors that live around here um, and I could go on and on. I think the biggest thing I learned when I went down all these mornings is that everybody follows the rules. Uh, I was, um, I, ha I have pictures, I have taken more than a hundred pictures, and most of the pictures, I have good pictures. Uh, someone like uh, Christie's Pizza Place, they have a little barrel. They don't have one bit of trash on the ground. The trash that blows out of here fills up the garage of the motel that's across the street where um, their balconies of their vintage hotel look down into these barrels. It's disgusting. I just don't understand how this could even be allowed. And if the town won't do anything about this, won't the state do something about this? It's obviously a health hazard. And so I'm saying if the town won't do anything, what, what, what else is going to be done? Um, I was uh, approached by people out there. They saw me taking the pictures. I took the pictures at a different time every day. I went at 5.15 one morning. I went at 6 o'clock another morning. And I went at 6.30 another morning. Um, the swill that's on the sidewalks is it, it's excruciating when the garbage truck is there, because I was there when the garbage truck was there. The lady that's renting rooms across the street, if their doors were open, the smell is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is vomit on the streets in front of some of these establishments. <clears throat> and it's, you can see it. The pictures are here. They do not lie. One of the biggest problems I have is that the barrels are not uh, even closed. And uh, also, I suspect that the barrels are being moved between Bernie's and the Wallies. Because when I went down there Friday, there were many more uh, barrels at Wally's. When I went down there today, Wally's was the star of the show this morning. It was clean and everything was perfect. Mm -hmm. But there weren't as many barrels that were there on Friday. So I just think there's a problem here. I don't think anyone's uh, doing anything about it. I, I say, do we need code enforcement? Is that what it's going to take? The, as far as, um, un, there are a number of things here. Um, as far as within my authority and jurisdiction, it was to determine the number of barrels. And, and yes, we work with 
businesses and residents alike that um, you know the ordinance clearly states that all the refuse has to be in the containers um, if it's not yes we do send uh, Frank Swift our foreman by or one of the other foremen to you know to work with the individual property owners um, the with respect to the carts staying out on the, the sidewalk 24 7 um, we have worked with businesses in the past to in apartment complexes and residents that they need to become be taken in off the street uh, after they're, they're emptied in the morning um, the ordinance even sp specifically calls out the carts being put out like at 11 o'clock at night or something of that nature I do remember reading that I have one instance where I actually had to go on to H Street and um, physically pick up all the carts because I couldn't get the, the property owner's attention uh, they've since only, only come back for half of those carts that's the only incident that I'm aware of where we've actually physically taken back our carts uh, one of the issues is that with that respect of taking back some of the carts this town gave each residence or um, dwelling two carts so yes to the town property I could take those back but when it comes to a business that has bought 10 or 15 I'd have a hard time taking back which they physically have paid for well why are the carts on the um, why aren't they out of sight and in the back the planning board called for them to be out of sight or stored mm -hmm. not on the sidewalk and as I stated, you know, we've met with this particular property owner and agreed to of another location uh, to, to help meet a concern that uh, the butter directly behind had. So we've we've worked with the particular. Because yeah, the previous owner of this property, this is where there was a problem when Lebec Rouge owned it. The, the same exact area on this lot has always been a problem. Mm -hmm. And when uh, properties get transferred and they become under a new owner, that problem shouldn't continue. Sure. But this problem is worse. Mm -hmm. And so why aren't those barrels where they're supposed to be? I, I see it as a health issue at this point. And it's a, a terrible health issue. Correct. And it's something as a citizen of Hampton, I don't want to live in a town that allows this. It's terrible. And um, I would also say that another uh, business that has 40 uh, barrels, uh, they wash the barrels. The barrels are completely clean. Mm -hmm. They're stored up there. They were stored this morning. After they were picked up, they're immediately put. They look like uh, uh, Christmas ornaments. They're stacked right the way they should be. Uh, the ones at Bernie's are stacked nicely right now, mm -hmm. but they're still sitting on town sidewalk, uh, probably about four inches. And, um, and there's no way a wheelchair can go down because the wheelchair would be going, it would teetering off on the side. The, the, you know, I'd be afraid to do it. And uh, also the other uh, establishment that has those 40 barrels, their sidewalks and everything get washed down. And in my opinion, Everyone that has a business down there should be washing their sidewalks, and maybe they wash theirs too. Mm -hmm. But anyone that goes out for a morning stroll and wants to walk through the vomit and the slime, it's just not acceptable to be a beach resort, and I just can't imagine. My heart goes out to that lady that has that motel. Mm -hmm. My only other suggestion would be that um, myself, the manager, maybe the code officer, please, we review the... Who is the code officer? Uh, Kevin? Kevin Schultz. Yeah. And you can't tell me that the health department, the health that checks the restaurant, doesn't um, keep track of that the fact that you can't get to their back door because uh, uh, so much trash is piled up there? I'd be guessing. I'd, I'd be presuming things outside of my jurisdiction. Well, I think we need to look at who we need to report this to because it's obviously something that the town is not able to cope with. And I think that... Uh, if we are going to be doing anything in the future, we need to make sure that we uh, have some um, invite other people in to talk about this because I want to point out that everybody else seems to be doing exactly what they have promised to do and what's expected of them. Understood. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> anything else? Chris? I'm all set. Thank you very much. Yep. Did you get a copy of these pictures, Chris? I did. I, I received the original email uh, today. Uh, last week. No, this is one that's one today. Um, 
Christine. With, with the issues that went on this afternoon, I have to admit I didn't yeah. get on to my computer. But uh, yes, I'm sure that they're or that the manager will make them ultimately available to me. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. All right, we're going to skip over the town manager's report.